everyone. Introducing Lorenzo Buttercup. He was born on May 5th at around 3 o'clock in the morning. And, well, this is, of course, Roxy. <laughs> So for those of you that don't know, um, Lorenzo is a buckskin. So you may have um, you may have heard that Roxy could have either had a buckskin or a palomino. Those were the two color choices. Back up, Mama. And so he is obviously a buckskin. You can see he has sort of darker colored legs as he grows up. His legs are going to get much darker and his ears this is a great shot you can see his ears they still have a little bit of creamy colored fur on them Rocky, stay here but once he sheds out those are going to be all dark colored <laughs> and his mane is going to be black and his tail is going to be black his little nose is going to be black 10 days old today he's already growing he's gotten taller yes and he's very friendly and he's brave and very curious and quite sweet, quite a sweet boy. Roxy has been a perfect mama. She has done just about everything as perfect as can be. Just wait here, mama. She's been super great about sharing her baby with all the many people who have come to visit. And asking me how did I come up with the name Lorenzo and so I used to have um, a gelding he passed on about two years ago and my gelding's name and dear sweet boy um, his name was Cosima and so if you are familiar with uh, the Medici's famous Italian brothers from Italy obviously uh, back in the 1400s Lorenzo and Ca Cosimo were the two brothers that are pretty well everyone is familiar with and everyone knows. And so when I was thinking about what to name a cult, it came to me pretty quickly. It's actually um, one of only two names that would even come to me for, for a cult. And that was that if I had a cult, he would be Cosimo's brother. And so that's how we came up with Lorenzo. And uh, Renzi gets lots of different nicknames. Sometimes I call him Renzi because he's so cute and adorable. Um, he also gets called Buttercup because there's lots of buttercups out in the field and a lot of stuff has happened around the farm in reference to Buttercup, so that quickly became another nickname for him. So uh, some people have been asking also about how long was Roxy in full and also how long did it take for her to deliver Lorenzo? And so Roxy was in full a little bit longer than average. She was uh, went to 353 days, so about 11 and a half months. On average, it's about 11 months, okay? And then in terms of delivery, Roxy kind of did everything by the book. On average, the delivery takes about 30 minutes 
from the time the water breaks until the time the foal is delivered and Roxy was just about under 30 minutes with that. So it's very, very quick, pretty quick delivery. And this little guy came out, he was only about halfway born, so like about to his rib cage, and he was already moving his legs and opening his mouth and trying to take his first breaths and trying to run. He wasn't even born yet. Whoa! Roxy and I really want to thank the whole Majota family for really supporting us throughout our entire pregnancy and supporting us in all kinds of ways with sending your love and your well wishes and all that fun stuff.